Hi guys, this is Shalini and I'm back to you with another video. So some scientists and researchers across the globe have been contemplating on what exactly has caused the second wave. And some believe that the answer partly is mutation in the original strain. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about coronavirus, the triple mutation. So if you like the video and the content, kindly do like, share and subscribe. Also, let me know your valuable comments in the comment box. To begin with, how did the daily case count go up from thousands to over lakhs? The answer is definitely complacency of people who ignored COVID appropriate precautions, which is one of the obvious reasons. But the more frightening reason is the prevalence of a more virulent mutant of the virus. Now, if you look at the first picture in this panel, you have spike protein over the base of the virus. These spike proteins or these spikes are exactly responsible for binding onto the ACE2 receptor site in the human body. So mutations can take place either on the spike or on the surface of the virus cell. Mu viruses mutate at all time as part of the evolutionary biology and some mutations weaken the virus while some other make it stronger. But the point to remember here is if the mutation is on the spike protein then that increases the transmission capacity of the virus. It increases the binding capacity of the virus and also most of our vaccine and most of the drugs that we give are usually targeted over the spike protein. Double mutation that is B1617 which is now believed to cause the second wave. It is true that in almost 61 percentage of the samples we have detected the double mutated strain. Now what exactly is double mutated strain? If you remember the E484Q which was a variant earlier declared by UK and the South Africa and the Californian strain that is L45 are a combination of this is what produces the double mutated strain and this acts over the spike protein that means the mutation is over the spike protein which increases the binding capacity of the protein and also increases the transmission capacity of the virus a recent news in the last few days says that triple mutated strains have been detected in four states in India, namely Maharashtra, West Bengal, Delhi and Chhattisgarh. And yes, most of the samples have been detected having this triple mutated strains, which is otherwise called as B1618. Now, as the name suggests, there are three variations in the original form, which includes deletion and changes in the spike protein, deletion of H146 and Y145, mutation in E. 484k and d614g in the spike protein that means there is a lot of mutation happening over the spike protein which eventually increases the transmissibility that is the spread of the virus it can escape your immune system it can escape the vaccine and make it more pathogenic in nature that means this has become a variant of interest or a variant of concern for the globe the solution for this variant of concern is genome sequencing. We need genome sequencing on war footing. How will this help us? This will help us to understand the origin of the virus, how changes or mutations make them strong and routes it is taken to reach a particular geography. That means if it is detected now in India, Genome sequencing will help us understand how did it reach India. So such information is crucial in not just designing control measures, but also in the development of vaccines and drugs. So the government should definitely focus on genome sequencing. And as responsible citizens, we should not forget COVID appropriate behavior, which includes wearing masks, using sanitizers at frequent intervals, social distancing and also getting yourselves vaccinated if you are eligible to do so. So thank you. I hope that today's video was useful. If so, please do like, share and subscribe and also let me know your topics of interest in the comment box. Otherwise, thank you and have a nice day.